Well, I'm Ben Burris. Uh, my majors are chemistry, pre-med, and Spanish. Spanish as a study isn't about learning a language. It's about learning a culture. You're learning life skills, you're learning how to be a well-rounded person, and you're learning about a culture that is so remote from what we have grown accustomed to in the United States. I actually, again, started off just as a chemistry pre-med major, no intentions of joining the Spanish department, but after my third semester, one of the professors, Dr. Butes, actually approached me and said, you know, I, saw, I see that you're a chemistry major, you know, you don't have Spanish announced as a minor or a major, you're doing very well in my class, it would be advantageous for the health field if you added Spanish as a major, I would like to work with you, you know, m just try to convince you to add on Spanish as a minor or a major. So I was a little reluctant at first, but because I, I thought to myself, well, I'm taking, you know, a slew of science classes, gen ed classes, uh, I don't know if I really want to tack on Spanish. But reluctantly, I agreed, sat down with him, and it was the best decision of my life. And so I just kept on doing that, and I used my Spanish to kind of help supplement some of the, the charitable things that I wanted to do with medicine and, you know, opportunities such as working with the Habitat for Humanity, working for the World Health Day here in Fort Wayne, those came up as a byproduct of Spanish. So study abroad was by far the best thing that I have done as an undergrad. It wasn't necessarily rewarding in the sense of, you know, I was going out and doing community work or I was making a difference, but it definitely helped me to understand how small of a scope I have on the world around me because I'm so comfortable here in Fort Wayne. I consider myself a worldly person. I've, you know, I've been to Florida, but I have never been to Spain before. And so going to Spain and getting off of a plane in Spain, having never spoken Spanish for any longer than two hours in one sitting was definitely eye-opening. I was required to find my way around a city on my own. I didn't know where the street signs were in Spain. Little did I know that they are on the sides of buildings, not on little green posts like they are here in the United States. So I got lost coming home from school one day. These are all things that you need to know if you're going to ever work abroad. You know, if you've got a business trip that sends you to Spain, you should probably know where the street signs are. Little things like that that no one takes the time to tell you. So study abroad not only helped solidify my abilities of speaking Spanish, they also showed me that, you know, not everything is going to be like the United States. The benefits for studying abroad are beyond just getting better at a language. You know, they, it permeates into who you are as a person, how you view the world, and how you view people that are different from you. Because it's so easy for us to see something on the news from a different country and to kind of brush it off. But to have been in that country and to have lived the lives that these people live, it really changes how you view what goes on around you. Definitely take advantage of the opportunities that your faculty have. Um, I know in the Spanish department, each of the faculty members are involved in something unique. So I got involved with community outreach with Habitat for Humanity through Dr. Butes. But I know that other faculty members, such as Dr. Buhel, has connections with Doctors Without Borders. So whatever you want to do, make sure that you talk to your professors so that you can find some kind of outside extracurriculars that will help you better yourself as a student and then ultimately as a potential candidate for whatever you want to do.